Hey, hey, music friends, Jeff here again, and it is time now to hit the collection series on KISS on the CD side. Now, I am going to, since we've already seen the vinyl editions and all of these, these are just going to be a quick run through. I think I can nail all of these. I'm going to do them real quick in one section. There's nothing really, near the end I'll show any of the oddities that I have, but for the most part, the entire collection of CDs is your standard stuff. I believe I have pretty much all of the remastered CDs that came out. So I think, what was that, 95-ish or so? I remember I was living in New York at the time, um, which I'm actually going to visit New York for the first time in many years. Um, going back up to visit the in-laws this weekend. So I'll be there for a week, get to hit some of my old favorite stores from 20 years ago. But anyway, um, so all of my CDs, at least the, 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 the uh, makeup years, are all pretty much the remastered. So we've got, you know, the... First album, <clears throat> and Hotter Than Hell, Dress to Kill, Alive, Destroyer. Now at this point, then of course we do divert a little, or not, yeah, this is the Destroyer Resurrected, so this is the, you know, version that came out a couple years ago not part of the remasters this is i guess not part of the remasters you wanted the best the kiss comp um we'd love to find this on vinyl but wow it always tends to be really expensive rock and roll over i guess i put that in that section i i, I kind of store my stuff chronologically and those are songs from the previous few albums rock and roll over all right i got the love gun remastered and then the Love Gun Deluxe that came out. I have the, um, you know, I just realized the, Des the Destroyer has a Deluxe too. And I have the digital versions, but I, you know, I bought the vinyl on that when, in the Deluxe Edition. I didn't buy the CD, but it is on my wish list. If it drops down in price, I'll probably buy that Kiss Alive 2, Double Platinum. Then you get the solo albums. He's fairly... Gene, Peter, Paul. You can dig back on my channel and show where I did a ranking of these in my preference order, which is not always the same as everybody else's. Dynasty, first concert I ever saw by Kiss, Unmasked. I love this album. I still love this album. I like the poppier years. I like it all. The Elder, love this album too. It's just different. It's not normal kiss but it's a great album all right and then i guess while well, we got killers that gets thrown in there this is probably more of a i don't know i don't know what year this is this is an older pressing i guess creatures of the night i believe this is about where the remaster stopped right because lick it up is not a remaster and animalize is not I was, so they basically, I think the, re, unless I somehow totally missed it, the remasters were just the makeup years. Asylum, Crazy Nights, I don't know what I was thinking, Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits. Yeah. There you go, Hot in the Shade, Alive 3. Carnival of Souls. Let's change hands. We could put these down over here. Try to keep them from falling. Unplugged. All right, and then we got. Let's see. Get into this. Psycho Circus with the lenticular cover. Ooh. And then I have the two Psycho Circus uh, singles that came out. Each one of them has a bonus track that was not on the album. At least one, and some other oddities at some points. Had to have those. And then we got the Kiss Alive box set that has all the all three live albums plus the Millennium concert in here. So it's a nice little set there for you. Cool stuff. Got all of those in there. And then Kiss Alive 4, the Symphony. I just realized I probably should pull out my DVDs at some point. Maybe I'll do a different video on that. Sonic Boom, of course, was the Walmart exclusive whatever it's got the extra album re-recorded plus the live Buenos Aires 
show. So, there you go. You got Monster with the lenticular cover. I'm going to say this might be the Best Buy edition. I don't know. Maybe. And then I picked this up at some point. This is the Walmart. Well, I saw it at Walmart. Maybe I bought it at Walmart. Um, this is the Monster Book Edition. So it's the album plus all kinds of cool stuff there. There's nothing different about it. It's just the CD. The Deluxe Edition Monster includes new album, 64-page fan magazine, featuring exclusive interviews, blah, 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 blah. So at some point I picked that up as a little bonus and then live in Vegas. And then everything else from here is basically uh, a bootlegs that I bought over the years from various sources that are pretty high quality for the most part. The Farewell Tour Package, this is a uh, Kiss Alive 2, the Lost album, and uh, Wicked Lester. So this is like a, got all kinds of different songs and tracks. And there's a lot of different Wicked Lester stuff out there that's various formats and songs and versions and takes. And this is pretty extensive. Wicked Les like Lester Sessions Part 2. So... And then we got actual Wicked Lester, and a full album, I guess, somewhat released, uh, the way it was somewhat officially released. And it's on a fairly high, decent quality CDR. Those are probably 20 years old. Um, I don't know why that's in there. Yeah, that's a DVD. I have a copy of Kiss in Auckland, New Zealand. That's the unmasked 1980s one that gets floating around out there. Paul Stanley and the Phantom of the Opera audience recording of him doing Phantom of the Opera, I guess, in Canada. Kiss Rock the Nation. This is the 2004 concert I've talked about. I have the vinyl of this. It was reissued as it's from the soundboard. This is the one I bought when I was at the concert. You stand in line at the end of the concert. They burn these off, and you buy them at the point. It's a double CD. So this was purchased at the actual Virginia Beach Amphitheater 2004 concert. And later became a vinyl reissue. Farewell Tour, this is just a soundboard recording from this Farewell Tour. There used to be some KISS site online. This was this would have been before Facebook. There was a KISS site online where you could buy all these cool things. So this is the 2000 concerts. And then again, the Farewell Tour 2000, Saturday, October 7th. So There you go. That's it. That's most all of the KISS CDs that are directly related. Um, I'm not sure if I should go into worry about maybe the uh, side things like the individual band projects and stuff. But we'll consider that later. That's it for this one though. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with some other stuff. I've got books and now I'm talking DVDs and I guess comics and all kinds of stuff KISS related. So we'll see on a future episode. Thank you very much. Rock on and rock hard.